As a first step, I'll show you my networking components. So if I just go to my virtual networks, I have two VNets, uh, one with the West use, other one would be the East use. So I'm going to focus on only West use to region. So I'll just click on West use two. And within this VNet, I do have here a subnet, which is specified for my VPN gateway. Also, I have a normal subnet, which is used within my VNet. So if I just go to my virtual networks, I should have a virtual machine within this subnet. So let's go to my virtual machines. And you see here under West region, I have a virtual machine which is in a start state running state and you can check out the subnet uh, which is the IP address range also matching with that and I use the same VNet or the subnet if you see here AZ WSS2 or WSS2 VNet1 AZ WS that's a WSS2 and VNet1 subnet1 so this is what we have so the demo should be looks like I'm going to configure the first point would be the our VNet, I'm going to enable the service endpoint for the storage account. So I need to have a storage account. Let's see if I just go back to my storage account. I should have a storage account with the same uh, region. If you see here, West region and also the same uh, resource group. So if I just go to my storage account, I have a resource group and the West location I do have here. So what I'm going to do is now this specific storage account which can be accessed from anywhere let's say if you see here my ip is coming from a, a different region uh, even though this is not in microsoft network uh, and this is my what's my ip information so i should be able to access this storage account from anywhere so i have a storage uh, explorer here on my pc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to enable to connect to that specific storage account let's have it try first let's try to connect with the connect button here and when i click on here normally the storage account will ask for the string specific and if i have a connection string i can give here so let's say i wanted to take the connection string of the key one so that should auto build actually and then i should be able to connect so i'm able to pull up all the uh, specific keys information here let's say if you see here my AZ demo uh, service endpoint specific uh, service account if you see this is my service account so the service account I'm able to browse uh, from a different machine uh, that's public publicly I'm able to access so this is not uh, what we wanted we wanted to secure so that's where it comes the service endpoint uh, which will allow you to only grant access uh, within your subnet. So that's what we try to discuss here. So within the subnet only it should be allowed and it shouldn't allow from outside. Outside, so that means the public IP shouldn't be allowed, let's say. Or it should only allow for your on-premises network only. And in that situation what we do is within the, your on-premises, whatever you have the NAT IP, public IP, that we would configure. So as a first step within this demo, we would actually go and disable the public access and secure to access only for the private IP so to do that to do that what we're going to do is we are going back to our storage account and enable the service endpoint for that uh, in this case this is the uh, demo storage account that we wanted to work so let's click on that storage account and if you just go back to under settings you have an option called firewalls and networking uh, the, within this you have an option allow access from so currently it is allowed from anywhere that's why we are able to connect it here from any any location so what we're going to do is we are going to select that specific network virtual network and click on existing virtual network or uh, you can create your own vnet also so in our case we're going to create in we're going to use existing virtual network that's vnet so in my case that's my subscription and uh, this is my uh, vnet and within this my vnet i have a two subnets so out of that the subnet is uh, the subnet one which is this so endpoint 
uh, service request required so this is what I'm going to configure and say enable so so it takes some time and it will finally enable in this case it's successfully enabled now that's good so I'll just close this uh, oh cancel it looks like it's not yet added yeah it's added now and I can save here so one more time so it's going to save the configuration so if I just uh, straightforward if I just go back to this specific storage account and if I just uh, if I try to do a quick refresh what would happen if I try to access maybe containers so it says that you don't have access if you're not able to retrieve it and similarly if I try to connect so I'm keep on getting an error because um, I can't access because this is completely restricted for only that specific vnet and within that we need a specific subnet so let's try the same configuration try to access from our virtual machine which is coming from our west region within that subnet so I'll just connect to the VM and we'll see from here what happens connecting to the machine and post to the connection you can see here um, I have the same subnet IP address for this machine and uh, now if I just go back to my Azure portal and try to connect with the connection string I should be able to grant access or get access here so it just got connected without any issues and if I just explore furthermore I should be able to access the files so I can create here in the container for example VHDs and uh, I can upload files I can do all the things that I wanted with the, my storage account so this is how you're going to secure with the help of service endpoints uh, configuration for your any of the Azure resources that are listed here so that's how it's going to work so let's say if I want to access since it's not uh, working fine from my local machine so how would I do that let's say you have maybe on-premises network here within your on-premises uh, network you wanted to grant access for your users to get connected to your storage account so for that what you will be doing is you would be actually adding the NAT IP address for doing that you simply have to go to your again service endpoint in this case the firewall and uh, within here you can simply add here the IP so as you know that this is my public IP I just ver verified so I'll simply take this public IP configuration and simply I'll just put it here and uh, that's it uh, so that's going to be my exception and if you see here it actually discovers by default whatever the public IP information but I just wanted to show you that so if you have multiple IPs so you have to give maybe your head office um, maybe location or maybe your branch office one or branch office two locations IPs so that it will allow only for your networks so that way you're gonna secure so that's how it's gonna secure um, your network with the service endpoints and all these components very similar it's gonna work in the similar fashion for the service endpoints let's try from accessing from my local machine by just to refresh let's see what would happen so if I just go to refresh I'm still not getting because I have to log out let's try to detach and then attach it so that way I'm gonna connect it so I'll just click on connect and I'm going to use again same the connection string mechanism and connect it with the connection string connect so it's trying to connect and if I just go back here to the blobs container I'm now I'm able to access so that's how it's gonna work I hope it's really useful for you uh, to configure this entire configuration uh, kindly take a minute uh, to review the course so that it will be really helpful for me thank you